I am Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 5 page 452 from arithmetic series Nelson. Now most of the students have been having difficulty to solve this particular question which is calculate T12 and S12 for the following series 1 over 5 plus 7 over 10 plus 6 over 5 plus 17 over 10 and so on. Well one of the reasons why it has become a bit difficult is because uh, of the way it is written. Uh, now let me rewrite this then I hope it will be simpler for you to understand. Let me write this series again. I'll write this as instead of having 5 as the denominator let me write each term with 10 as denominator. Right. So if I want to write 10 in the denominator I'll multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. Correct. So for this term I'll have 2 over 10. 2 over 10 is same as 1 over 5. Correct. Then we have 7 over 10 and this time I have to multiply by 2 to get 12 over 10 instead of 6 over 5. Then we have 17 over 10 and so on. Now it is much much easier to understand what sequence we are talking about. Right. Now here what you can clearly see is that the first term A is 2 over 10. The common difference D is 7 over 10 minus 2 over 10 which is 7 minus 2 is 5 5 over 10. Let me not simplify it. Okay. If I do difference between third and the second term let me check that part also 12 over 10 minus 7 over 10 I do get 5 over 10 only right. You can compare the numerators when the denominators are same it becomes simpler. So in the numerator if you add 5 you get the next term. So 5 over 10 is the common difference. So what we find is that the common difference is 5 over 10. Now we need to find the 12th term. So we can use the formula for 12th term. So t of 12 is equals to first term which is 2 over 10. I prefer to write 2 over 10. Let's use base 10 now. right? Then we'll simplify our answer. n is 12 minus 1 and d is 5 over 10. Correct? So, so what we get here is, is the 12th term with base, base 10. So it's easy to add and subtract. So we get 2 over 10 plus 12 minus 1 is 11. 11 times 5 is 55. Correct? So that could be written as 57 over 10. Do you get it? So T12 is 57 over 12 for you, 10 for you, right? Now, let us find what is the sum of 12 terms. Now to find sum of 12 terms, we will use average of first and last, right? So we can use N over 2 times sum of the first and last terms. First term is 2 over 10 and the last term is t12 which is 57 over 10, right? Which I could write as n for us is 12 so we write 12 over 2 and then here since we kept the basis same it's easy, right? 59 over 10, right? And that gives us 6. 6 times 59 over 10 so 6 could be simplified. We can cross them by 2. So that becomes 5. This becomes 3. So we could write this finally as, or let me write here. Let me take it to this side, right? So we'll write S of 12 is equals to 6 times 59 over 10. You can write in decimals if you want to. Or in fractions, it will be 3 times 59 divided by 5. Okay, So that is 3 times 9 is 27, 7, 2, 15 and 2, 17, 177 by 5. Right? If you want, you can always use calculator. It is, it is, we could say 6 times 59 equals 2 and then divide by 10. So we could have written 35.4 as our answer correct so that is how you could actually solve or you could write this in fraction it's one of the same thing right 
So either way, so what we get here is that the twelfth term T12 is 57 over 10 and S12 is you can write in decimals or in whole numbers. I mean fractions, right? As you wish. So that is how you can solve such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you.